So thanks for coming. Um, we're going to take questions from Dave Beeson, co-chair of Penguin Sports Management, as well as Kevin Athlon, president of business operations for Penguins. Dave is going to start with some opening remarks from the Penguin group. Thanks, Jen. Thank you for coming. Um, this is a tough day for the Pittsburgh Penguins. On behalf of John Henry, Tom Werner, and the entire FSG ownership group, I'd like to thank Brian, Ron, and Chris for their contributions. While we all agree that it was time for a change, it doesn't impact how difficult the decision actually is. It's never easy to part ways with someone, and it was particularly difficult to do so given the quality of the individuals. It's also a frustrating day because for the first time in 16 seasons, a regular season has ended and we aren't getting ready for the Stanley Cup playoffs. FSG's attraction to the Penguins was and remains the incredibly rich history of championships and the amazing fan base in the city of Pittsburgh. Our goal is to compete for the Stanley Cup every year. We believe deeply in this core and are disappointed that our season isn't continuing. While the decision was made to part ways with Brian, Ron, and Chris, the responsibility for our results does not fall solely on them. John Henry, Tom Werner, myself, Mike Sullivan, all of our players and staff are responsible for how the season ended. We're a team, and our successes and failures come as a team. Looking forward, we are excited and optimistic about the future. We'll get to work immediately on building a hockey operations department that can match our ambition, one that is best in class and provides our staff and players with opportunities for success on a daily basis. That will start by running an immersive process for our next hockey operations leader. In the interim, we're thankful to Alex Shaw, Andy Saucier, Eric Heasley, and of course, Mike Sullivan for taking on more responsibility during the transition. Thank you. Hey, Kevin, um, I, this is kind of a multifaceted one, so I'll try to be concise. Um, what are you looking for in terms of the structure of your hockey operations department? Uh, previously, it was a president and a GM. Also, um, is there any plan to appoint a sort of head of the Penguin CEO? Or are you going to move forward with just the president's and the business side in that? And also, what qualifications are you looking for in the hockey ops hires? All right, I, I'll uh, try to remember some of those questions. Let me, I'll start with uh, how, how we're organized now, which is, so Family Sports Group, John Henry and, and Tom Warner are the principal and chairman of, of the company. And they're responsible for the oversight of the Penguins, like they are for our other, other our other teams and other assets that we have. The way we the way we operate is that John and Tom are responsible for the business and and the sporting side. So Kevin reports in through John and Tom, uh, and and the new hockey operations leader, whoever we hire, will also report in through in through John and Tom. They've asked me. Uh, I'm based in Boston. They've asked me to take on a sort of more day to day role in Pittsburgh, um, and so I'm working with Kevin and working with. Uh, the entire team in Pittsburgh on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. I'll just add, it's par a partner. Uh, you know, what we have right now is a partnership, to Dave's point. You know, this ownership group is very active in everything that's happening uh, in this team on the hockey operations side and on business operations. And certainly, you know, coach is a partner to the GM. The GM is a partner on the business side. And, and we all obviously report up through ownership. So, um you know, obviously we're, we're starting this process. We're going to start to evaluate candidates. We're going to do this as a team uh, in an op open and transparent way uh, and, and hopefully find a great partner who can help, you know, give the city again the type of team that it deserves. For for Dave, just what went into the decision to move on from Hextall, Pryor, and Burke at this time? And is this a decision you think would have happened if the Penguins had made the playoffs? It's, it's, I think that um, the way, the way we've thought about our hockey operations department generally is, you know, we want to be, we want to be forward thinking. We want to be proactive. Ron and, and, and Brian and Chris were great and, and they served a great role. And look, we are all disappointed in the way the season ended, but we're really focused on the future and, and moving forward. My questions for Kevin, please. Kevin, I, Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe you were involved when um, Ron, Mario, and David decided to hire Brian. I was. Um, what do you recall what was attractive to them? Uh, or what did you, what fell into wanting to hire? Yeah, them I'm, I'm not gonna speak uh, for prior ownership as to what their decisions led to, but I'll just echo uh, what David mentioned earlier. This is intensely difficult. You have two 
quality human beings who have families who are uh, very well respected in hockey circles. Uh, not everything that happened to the team is their fault. I think everybody uh, can, can uh, you know, uh, take that uh, to account. But, but Ron and, and, and Berkey uh, were hired at the time because the ownership in place at the time felt that they were best to move forward. And my expectation is, you know, with John and Tom and Dave's leadership and guidance, we're going to find uh, a leader uh, who will, uh, again, uh, bring us back on the ice uh, next season. So um, I was involved. It was different circumstances, you know, with Jim Rutherford leaving voluntarily, a um, little different circumstances, but I, I have confidence in this ownership team that we're going to run a process uh, that's going to put forth uh, the best candidate uh, who, who can help us win next year, because that's what matters. A uh, question for Dave. It seemed in the past couple of years there were competing objectives between rebuilding a prospect pool and winning now. What's the philosophy going forward with the, the ownership group? Yeah, I think the commitment that was made last summer, re-signing our, our key players that were free agents that were part of this core forever, Gino and, and Chris, uh, sort of spoke to the commitment and, and where our focus is. And, and we think that, like I said in my statement, we think this is a team that's completely capable of competing for Stanley Cups moving forward. Josh? This is for both of you. I'll start with Dave, though. Um, you have an older team, but you have a unique circumstance because you also have one of the greatest players of all time on your team. Uh, he has a couple of years left on his contract. How important is it to FSG that Sidney Crosby never plays for another NHL team? And, and what kind of a role might he play in everything that's going on this summer, just given who he is? Uh, it's, it's very important that Sidney Crosby does, you know, never plays a game in another uniform other than Pittsburgh Penguins. I can't speak to where, uh, you know, day one of thinking about this. Uh, so I can't speak to any role that anybody's going to ask for moving forward. Um, to Dave or Kevin, uh, you mentioned um, that Mike Sullivan will have a bit more responsibility here in the upcoming weeks or so. Uh, is he expected to remain coach heading into next season? I think the answer to that is we think Mike Sullivan is one of the best coaches in the NHL. Uh, he was extended last season. <clears throat> Once we once we bring in a new hockey operations leader, he or she will be responsible for evaluating the coaching staff. But we think Mike is terrific, and his whole staff is terrific. Jeff, Dave, what are the traits you're looking for in a new general manager? What do you want to bring aboard? It's it's a great question. Uh, like I said to Josh, we're we are day one, uh, and so that process will begin immediately. When I said immediately, immediately following this. Uh, <laughs> And and once we're, once we're we'll move forward and, and start to put together a list of what those traits are, what those characteristics are. But right now, it's a clean slate, and so we're we are uh, we're going to start identifying those traits shortly. The FSG was new to hockey when it bought the franchise. I'm wondering what you've learned over these two years, and also um, would the pool of prospects be limited to people within the hockey community, or are you open to sort of bringing somebody from outside in outside? Are you the applying? Boxing? Huh? Uh, I, I, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, I'll, this, this, the second question is: um, There's no limit right now. We will, we will, I am sure, develop a list and then winnow it down. I can promise you that it will be a robust process. It's it, there is nobody that's been pre-identified. There's nobody. It will be. A, it'll be a full process. We've learned a ton uh, in our. It's a year and a half, uh, and really, this was our first full season. Um, as, as sort of overseeing the, overseeing the team. And so, uh, you know, look, it's, it's a great organization. There are incredible people working for the Pittsburgh Penguins on both the business side and on the sporting side. We are ecstatic to have them and, and learned a lot from them and, and are taking those learnings sort of elsewhere as well. Uh, for Dave or Kevin, you know, your competition is already working on draft preparation and, and you know, that kind of uh, off season work. What is your timeline? for a new GM? As soon as possible without rushing it. You know, we want to make sure we get the right person in place and that we've, we've run a thorough process, but we do know that the draft is coming at the end of June. Um, you know, we have a scouting department that has been, prepar been preparing for the draft for the better part of the season. So uh, all of those processes will take place with Alec and Andy and Eric and, and Mike, uh, but we would like to get somebody in uh, sooner or later without, but, but without ever compromising quality. Uh, just to clarify, um, would you anticipate there being a president of hockey operations or some sort of equivalent? And would that person then be in charge of hiring a GM, assistant GM, et cetera, et cetera? There, there's no, at the moment, 
there's no parameters or no set format for what, what we're going to hire. I think that, you know, what we've learned in all of our endeavors in sport is that these jobs are not one person, two person jobs. They are entire department wide. And so what we're focused on building is a hockey operations machine uh, and something that can, that can build on what we've already got, which is exceptional and improve it, improve it. So whether that looks like a president, president of GM, president of GM, four assistant GMs, I'm not sure. And I don't think we have any preconceived notion of that yet, but that's the, that that's sort of open for discussion. Two more, Jeff. Kevin, how, how does the team stand as a business and how much did missing the postseason impact yeah. bottom line? So we're as strong and as healthy as we've ever been. And that's because of one reason, that's because of this fan base. Uh, no matter how well we did this season and we, we had some streaks where we were winning, we had some streaks where we were losing, but people show up. And I think that is a testament uh, not only to our fan base, to what uh, sports means to the city of Pittsburgh. You know, growing up here, uh, understanding that the Pirates, the Steelers, and the Penguins uh, were what carried this city through some very difficult times. And so uh, we've had a, a very successful year. Uh, a lot of hard work has been gone into, uh, you know, engaging with our fans, understanding, you know, how we get people to come to the arena to support this team. And on the business side, we understand our sole goal is to generate the resources to provide hockey operations what it needs to win. And certainly I can speak for Dave and for ownership uh, that this ownership group is intensely involved. Dave and I talk every day. You're here. I think you were here for most of the games uh, this year. You would have saved money if you bought a house here versus what you spend at the hotels. But uh, And I have a realtor for you. But at the end of the day, we understand our role is everybody who works for this organization, uh, from the ticket takers at the arena uh, up to my role on the business side, is we're here to support this team so we can win. And certainly that is uh, – what's most important to this ownership team. Last question, Josh. Guys, um, we haven't seen Mario around much the last year. I know he still owns a very small share in the team. Um, is he still involved with you guys at all? Do you have conversations with him at all? And do you want him to be involved at all moving forward? Yeah, M Mario is responsible for this franchise being in Pittsburgh. We know that even, even in Boston, we, kn we know that Mario is responsible for this franchise being in Pittsburgh. He does. He still has a small piece of it. I think. Look, I won't speak for Mario, uh, but he has been living and breathing the Pittsburgh Penguins for 35 years, and I think he was very much entitled to a year where maybe he maybe he wasn't around as much. He is, of course, uh, not only welcome but wanted uh, back whenever whenever he wants, and and I expect that that'll be the case going forward. But uh, yeah, he's he's. Working with him, getting to know him through this process was such a special gift for me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he is, he's uh, incredible. And I'll just add to that. You know, I talked to Mario this morning uh, after the news uh, broke. Um, he obviously talked to ownership as well, to Tom uh, directly. He was at a game a couple of weeks ago uh, during his, uh, his um, fantasy camp. Uh, we're also partnering our foundation. The Pittsburgh Foundation is, is a square partner with the Lemieux Foundation. So, uh, to Dave's point, he earned some time on the golf course uh, when he sold most of his interest. But, you know, he, he still cares about the team. And, 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 and obviously, we'd love to see more of him at the arena. Um, um, and that's something that we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep engaging with over time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thank you.